Okay, I'm going to take you on a little video tour of my levee spot here. I've actually added some fill to the top of mine. I have a lawn along the crest, okay? So it's pretty easy to see. We've had, at one time, a hawk that lived up there and for a long time had no rodent problems. <laughs> I think there was an owl or something also living up there. And we have some birds and other trees also that have made it so that we really haven't had any rodent problems, but recently I've had some I have to plug up and I'll check those out. There's my dock. Now that chair, the um, fig tree is an outstanding tree for the waterfront. And so is this um, Italian alder. It's kind of leaning out over here. I got to cut that cottonwood tree back. But the Italian alder um, is another tree that seems to be outstanding for its ability to create a network of, of uh, healthy roots um, in the levee that will hold on very well and, and uh, actually strengthen the levee. Over here, we have this tree bamboo that actually has strangled several trees and destroyed them, um, but it can't strangle and destroy the fig tree. So that's uh, so. If you come and do uh, work on this property here, which I had sent an earlier email, um, I would re recommend that uh, you c that he cuts back all of it. Is that uh, he took he had a fence up here, a uh, fence almost pulled my fence down. That's my fence on the property line, and uh, but he's now taken away all the debris. And he almost was going to cut that tree down, but that tree, again, uh, has a, uh, a, a threatened species uh, nesting in it. So um, then he's, it's a great um, habitat tree, in my opinion, because it does shade the, um, the water. It looks like there's a turtle or something over there. Um, and then on my property, I don't really need to any riprap because I've already put in lots of rock and everything by hand and it's a very firm stable levee. The biggest problem I have is this water invasive um, weed species that I don't really know. Everybody's trying to get, come down here with their fishing tackle and try to catch the big one and we're we're hauling in the biggest there is. We went for a little boat ride and hauled in all this stuff off floating on the water. I'm gonna go there. And when, uh, Belinda wants to go over and get a couple bottles still that we... That's new. That's a new bottle and we also have some stuff on the side here. Look, we got a vacuum cleaner, whole bunch of stuff. Before you go there, we're gonna unload this boat though. Okay, unload. That. There's a couple of logs, burned out things I managed to get in there. There's a carboy. All kinds of styrofoam, little bits and pieces of stuff that I got. I, even that container there that everything's in was found in the water. There's the stuff there Belinda's got. Only and the uh, all the bucket full of only, junk. Yeah. And water hyacinth and all that. So our effort here is to try to clean up. I know a lot of people come down here trying to catch the big one, get their tackle ready for big time fishing and everything like that. For, for us, the most meaningful thing is a healthy, clean environment. Okay, here we are again. This is uh, an assembled pile of stuff that we collected just within, you know, a hundred yards from around. We, cru we cruised down that way past the next property and then came made a circle around um, and just went along the other shoreline, picked up a lot of stuff. And we couldn't get absolutely everything, but I did get a lot of little pits and pieces of styrofoam and plastic and junk. There was a motor, a couple of motors and a transmission buried, uh, in the water over on the other side. Um, there's a family that came 
for a ride in their boat who said ugh to the ugly waterway and talked about how pl how wonderful it is in Oregon. Um, you know, ultimately coming down here to go fishing and and all that is actually pretty nasty stuff. The the thing the clean thing to do is to get in here and remove this plastic. We're harvesting and trying to get that stuff under control in our area. It'd be nice if we had more property owners and people off the waterfront, the ones that came down and went angling, to help out.